very little can prepare you for the excitement of stepping out onto the track or field in an Olympic final. I was lucky enough to do it on four occasions, starting in Seoul in 1988 and finishing in Sydney in 2000 when I won a gold medal. And it is the best moment of your life and also the scariest at the same time. The stadium is the symbol of any Olympic and Paralympic Games, from the spectacle of the opening ceremony to the drama of a new record. Three major challenges define the design of this stadium. Firstly, how to provide a venue with an 80,000 seat capacity for the four weeks of the Games that could then be reduced afterwards as necessary. Secondly, how to bring spectators as close as possible to the action. And finally, how to build sustainably with the least possible environmental impact. And all this squeezed onto a relatively small site that's virtually an island. The stadium is surrounded by waterways on three sides and you can just see one stretch of water if you look beyond the line of young trees. There's a creamy coloured bridge there too, leading onto the stadium island. The result of this challenging site is a bowl-shaped stadium sunk down into the ground. This makes it the lightest Olympic stadium ever built, with the minimum of steel necessary above the ground. It's been designed in a series of tiers that could be removed after the Games. The grid of steelwork has even been bolted together rather than welded, so that it can be more easily reconfigured. The A-shaped sections around the top are 14 huge banks of lights, bright enough to illuminate every detail of the action on high-definition television. And below them you can make out the white fabric roof, 45,000 square metres of it stretched and supported by a series of cables. It was carefully hoisted into place by a team of abseilers. At games time, spectators will walk onto the stadium island across one of the five new bridges connecting it to the rest of the park. They'll go straight into the stadium, just above the level of the track. Construction is now complete, on time and under budget, and ready for test events to begin.